quiet. Thank you. As you all know, Mr. Richard Gartner has made countless generous donations to the city. I am pleased to announce his latest gift, $5 million for the purchase of this property, soon to be the new home of some of our most treasured works of art. Now, as you also know, Mr. Gartner has always shunned from this. I'm very pleased to announce that he has agreed to answer a few questions, and he has accepted our invitation to next month's civic banquet, where he will be honored as Man of the Year. <laughs> Mr. Richard Gartner. Mr. Gartner, Mr. Gartner, why is someone so publicity shy suddenly appearing in public? I came here as a refugee, shattered by war, a frightened and suspicious man. What I have given this city is little compared with what it has given me. It's time to express my gratitude. How much are you going to buy? But I could probably buy you all anyway. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you at the banquet. Thank you very much, Mr. Gardner. Thank you. It's a pleasure. They're too short. Keep your left arm straight, Mr. Greenspan. Head down and follow through. <sighs> Watch it! Morning. Morning, H. Hi, Adeline. <laughs> Morning! Oh, okay. Now, don't tell me. Don't tell me. You've been given early retirement, and Clack has found a substitute with a matching IQ. <laughs> Sorry. Higher IQ. Meet Admiral Byrd. Tammy from ICOM asked me to look after him for a few days. Today is the ISI Inter Office Invitational. Oh, they're having it down here? Just getting in a little practice. You're part of Miscellaneous Affairs entry. Oh, come on, Melvin. We're not going to go through with this, are we? This is where the big boys are. Where careers are made. It's in my best interest to play. Well, it might be in ISI's best interest if you don't. Adderley, each department has two players combining their scores. You are half of our entry. Combined scores. I knew that they'd make me play with a handicap. Adderley, it's a chance for miscellaneous affairs to show the flag. It's a chance for you to polish a few apples. There's nothing wrong with using a social outing to make connections. We're in clacks for some. He's got an assignment for you. Oh, really? You think he'll give it to me if I don't let him win? Adderley, we're going to let him win. We've talked about this. You hook a few shots to slice the oddball into the tree. Melville, the only oddball in the trees is going to be you. But don't worry. You and me and our combined score, her clack is going to be euphoric. Good. Now, don't make it look like we're trying to lose. No. Clack hates it. Mm -hmm. Mona, hold down the fort. If the Russians attack for us, we'll skip the back nine. Ah, Russians are coming. Ah, Russians are coming. I can't believe this bombing isn't a police matter. Let the Major play, Adderley. It is a police matter. It's also a personal favor. Alderman Seymour is an old friend. Mr. Gartner keeps a low profile. He has his own bodyguards, but we prefer some extra security for the banquet. Security that doesn't look like security. 
And I don't look like security? That's the way that Richard Gartner likes things, Adderley. He's more reclusive than Howard Hughes. Exactly. Now, let me put Melville out of his misery. <laughs> nice shot, Major. Perfect line. You're playing beautifully today, Major. <laughs> so is Adderley. The game's coming down to the final hole. And of course, the only water hazard you've mastered all day is the ball washer. <laughs> Adderley, I have had to play like a moron just to keep them ahead of us. It's like your usual game to me, Melville. Start helping out. Blow the shot. Let's see, maybe I should have used a nine iron. Very good. But I think Melville needs a hole-in-one to tie this game. Ah, uh, yes. I guess it all does come down to me, sir. <laughs> you want me to find out who's behind the bombing? No, leave it to the police. The bomb wasn't a professional job. It still blew up. Leave it to the police. Go introduce yourself to Gartner, and then just make sure he gets through the banquet in one piece. I realize it's a hokey assignment, Mr. Adderley. <laughs> They seem to be the kind I do the best. But he's an important man to the city. Get on with it, Melville! <laughs> Two holes in one. Major, I think that's the championship. No, no. You should try and blow games more often. Miscellaneous affairs? Never heard of it. We don't advertise. Good. The last thing I want is to look like a man who needs protecting. Although I'm sure my own people won't mind the extra hand. Sorry. Yeah. Do the police have a line on the bomber? These days, anyone in the public eye can be a target, Mr. Adderley. Who knows who may have taken offense at my existence, or why? If you don't mind my saying so, you don't seem very concerned. It was a bomb, and it did go off. Yes, I suppose so. Uh, I would prefer to have a long and quiet life, Mr. Adderley. But I have lived long enough to know that that is granted to precious few. Would you mind my investigating this matter? It would be in my best interest if you did not attract any attention. Well, it's in my best interest, too. stuff be part of the bomb, Adderley. I mean, the police combed the whole area for debris. The police were looking for a highly sophisticated explosive device, Mona. They weren't looking for this. I don't understand. How... You ever seen one of these? Yeah, it's an alarm clock, Bill. My grandma used to have one like that. Yeah, mine too. But nowadays, a guy would use an electric timer or a remote control. I mean, this is very clumsy, very unprofessional. Might have been state-of-the-art 40 years ago, but not anymore. And this is 40% foresight. Construction-grade dynamite. And since it didn't even crater the road, couldn't use more than three sticks. Okay, now, does that mean something, though? Well, it means he built it with what he could scrounge or pilfer. Companies using dynamite have to report thefts. Yeah, right, and the police would check that. First thing. So I want you to find out where this came from. You want me? <laughs> well, how? I mean, at the police camp, I don't know. Where would I start? Construction companies. And when the after dinner speeches are over, we'll bring them out this way through the kitchen. Are you listening? Look, 
I know uh, this plan isn't as fancy as something you ISI boys could cook up, but it's my call, okay? Yeah. I know your boss is obviously a patron of the arts, but I don't recognize any of these painters. Well, he painted them. Really? Isn't that in your uh, ISI files? <gasps> Mr. Gardner's office. It's for you. Thanks. Hello. VH, VH, I think I found something. Okay, I'm at the Delander Construction Company. Now, a few days ago, a Sam Gitterman of 13-seater Crescent, he came in and he asked to buy three sticks of gelignite. Gelignite? Nobody uses gelignite anymore? Yeah, yeah, that's what they told him. And they sold him six sticks of dynamite. Hang on, Mona. <laughs> Who'd pull a dumb move like this? Maybe somebody wanted to test your security. I'm sorry. So what happened? Oh, just a little security scare, Mona. What were you saying about gelignite? People haven't used gelignite in years. Right. Now, that's why they remembered him. I mean, it was this old gentleman trying... Did you say old? Yeah, 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 an old man. And apparently he rode up on a bicycle. Morning, Mona. Morning. Mr. Gosper, we were beginning to worry about you. It's after 10 o'clock. The bird was especially upset. No need to fret. Today, things couldn't be more right. I just bought a new meshy niblick and went down to the golf course to try it out. Looking for new ways to lose? I just want to be up on my game when you and I go to Scotland. You and Adderley are... What? Our prize for winning the ISI Invitational. Two tickets to the Royal and Ancient Course of St. Andrews. Looks like you're going to get back overseas after all. And the way you play, I'll be back in the field, too. <laughs> That's really neat, Mr. Greenspan. Congratulations. Thank you. When do we go? Day after tomorrow. Oh, gee. I can't. Why? Clack gave me an assignment. Remember? Well, well, can't you get out of it? I'm sorry, Melville. It's what we do around here. What most of us do around here. Well, wait a minute. That banquet isn't until Monday night. Surely you have time for a weekend golf junket. Oh, Bill, there's a lot involved in planning a man of the year banquet party. You know, I mean, menus, seating arrangements, party hats, noisemakers. Adderley, you're not turning this into something else, are you? OK, you're right. I'll cut the noisemakers. Adderley, if I have to call Major Clack. What a good idea, Melville. I bet you the Major would love to play St. Andrews with you. Adderley! Oh, no. Mona? Call Major Clack. Yes? Hi. I'm looking for Sam Gitterman. Does he live here? Yes, he does. Can I talk to him? He's not in. Who are you? I'm with Delandar Construction. He bought some dynamite from us. We think it might be defective. We'd like to replace it. Dynamite? For, uh... Blowing up old beaver dams. Beaver's a big problem around here? Yes. I mean, no. N not here. At our cabin up north. Oh, really? D um, do you have a card? I'll have him call you. Well, I'd like to clear this up as quickly as possible. We don't want to be responsible for any unfortunate accident. Let me know where he is. The ball is not gonna move. That's all right. I gotta get it lined up. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> you missed. I missed. You moved your hand. That's why I missed. Sammy, don't blame me. You missed. 
Because you missed. That's why you missed. Just face up to the fact that you missed and leave a hand out of this. You want to shoot again, huh? Yeah. Here. So, how do I shoot? Here. You sure? Why not? <laughs> Don't move. I promise. Nice shot. Grandpa, this is Mr. Adderley. Mr. Adderley, this is my grandfather, Sam Gitterman. How do you do? And this is Morris Saproni. Mr. Adderley is from the Landar Construction. He wants to know about the dynamite you bought for the beaver dam. Beaver dams? At the cabin up north. It's defective. It might be dangerous. I'd like to replace it. Oh, why? It worked fine, didn't it, Morris? Ah, the dynamite worked fine. It did? Sure, no problems. I see. Did you use all of it? Yeah, I think so. Didn't we use it all, Morris? What? The dynamite. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Probably. Didn't we? Would you mind telling me where this cabin is? So, Miriam, who is this nice young man? Uncle Benny. This is Mr. Bassbaum, Benny Bassbaum. B.H. Adderley. From the Landar Construction? The dynamite. The beaver dam? At the cabin. Up north, you know? He says it's defective. We told him the dynamite blew up fine. All of it. Yeah, isn't that right, Benny? Did you get all that, or should I step outside and have them go over it again? Haven't we met before? Oh, I don't think so. No, I can't recall. Well, that's that. Thanks, boys. It's, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for the hand. You wait here, all of you. I want to talk to you. Mr. Adderley? Mr. Adderley, uh, I hope... Uh, I mean, I'm not sure if, if they're really... Quite the characters, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, listen, if they come to buy more dynamite, could you call me? I'm taking care of my grandfather. I'd really appreciate it. Sure. Could I call you even if they don't come and pick up more dynamite? Why? Maybe we could drive up to your cabin. You know, the one up north. Look out for the beavers. I tell you, I saw him outside Geller's. He works for Geller. Are you sure, Benny? He seems such a nice boy. I wonder what happened to the hand. He works with dynamite. These things happen. He doesn't work with dynamite. He works with Geller. Didn't you hear me? What's this about Geller? Zeta? Uncle Morris? Geller? What is this about Geller? Geller? There's something I should know. Don't you dare pull this routine on me. Why are you buying dynamite? For the cabin, the beaver dam. We don't have a cabin. I know we don't, sweetheart. I didn't want Mr. Delander to think you weren't telling the truth. Please. I heard you say Geller. It's nothing. Nothing to worry about. Uncle Benny, the last time you said that, I had to bail you out of a jail in Arizona. And the time before that? Nova Scotia. You assaulted some poor fisherman in Halifax. Is that what this is? You found another Geller? Miriam. Let it go. Forget it. It's over. For the love of God, forget it. Forget it. Never. Go, Penny. I'm sorry. Bassbaum? No. Samuel Gitterman? Morris Saproni? Sorry. Who are they? They came from Hungary shortly after the war. Does that mean anything? I've never been to Hungary. Maybe they're not behind the bombing. It's possible. They look harmless. Well, maybe that's exactly what they are. I'd appreciate it if you didn't bother them anymore. Yes, sir. You seem fascinated by my paintings. Just this one. 
There's something about it. One of my early works. I wasn't in control of my technique back then. Why do you keep it? Sentimental reasons. I get kind of hazy after 45 years. You two don't remember because you weren't there. Ah, oh, but Danny, do you remember why we weren't there? You should have seen. She had legs, gewalt, and blonde hair right down to here. Red. It was red hair. And short, bobbin, you know, like they used to wear. And green eyes, like a cat. Blue eyes. She had blue eyes. What was her name? Her name was Aggie, and she was a socialist. No, no, her name was Zsa, Zsa and she was a royalist. Wasn't she? Her name was Greta. Brown eyes, black hair, and she was a Marxist. How do you know? Never you mind how I know. I know. And I still had time to blow up railroads. <laughs> Benny, uh, we've been thinking, what if Gartner isn't Gil? It's been such a long time. We've been wrong before. We are not wrong. Before, we saw only pictures. This time, we look him in the eye. It's him. Benny, I My think... wife and daughter. Your first wife. Your wife and family. On their graves, we promised we'd find this man and there would be justice. Now, we keep that promise. Enough. You boys had better go home now before Miriam tracks you down. Oh, Miriam says that you should come for dinner Friday. You come? Uh, yes, yes, I'll, I'll be there. Well, what is it, Benny? Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm tired. Uh, I'm not young like you boys. True, true. <laughs> well, we'll see you Friday for Shabbos. Uh, Friday, yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, 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 no. Wait. Friday, you're busy? Miriam says you should come too, Morris. Me? Friday. You. Friday. Right. Now, I'll show you out. Uh, no, use the back stairs. Back stairs? Yes, it's Wednesday. Uh, the superintendent washes all the floors every Wednesday. You'll break a hip. Come on, Morris. She's probably got Zsa, Zsa the royalist coming up to see him. Zsa, Zsa was a socialist. Royalist. A socialist. Good night. Good night. Nazis before. Now calm down, Admiral. Here, I'll give you some papers to sign. Now, isn't that nice? Mona, where's Adderley? Uh, he's not here right now, Mr. Greenspan. Where is he? He's out. Damn. I made an appointment with Major Clark to see us. Oh. Adderley's going to Scotland to play golf with me, whether he likes it or not. Well, Mr. Greenspan, I think he said he has some bad work to do, so... He doesn't have any work to do. This is miscellaneous affairs. Aren't those B-86-12s? Um, yeah, these are aerial flight reconnaissance forms, yes. You're using them to paper the cage? Oh, come on, Mr. Greenspan. They match that little yellow feather on the back. Mona! Yes? They're government property. 
Mr. Greenspan, have we ever requested an aerial reconnaissance flight? Are we ever likely to request an aerial reconnaissance flight? Mm. When Adderley gets back, have him come and see me. Maybe there's some way we can work this out. Yes, Mr. Greenspan. Morning. Oh, VH, he wants to see you. I heard. Did you get me the file on Gartner? Yes, they're on your desk. Um, there is something else, VH. Mm -hmm. You know that old man you were telling me about, uh, Benny Bassbaum? Yeah, what about him? He's dead. He's dead? Oh. No, apparently he fell down a flight of stairs at his apartment sometime last night. Okay, Mona, do me a favor. Keep this file handy, but phone Miriam Gitterman. Ask her to meet me at Bassbaum's house. Okay, what do you think's going on? I don't know, but there's some connection between those old men and Gartner, and I'm gonna find out what it is. Major Clack wants to see us, Satterley. Uh, something about a Scottish assignment? Tell him to clear a space this afternoon at 3. I'll be ready to see him then. Clear a space. Ready and add Adderley. Adderley. Mona, call Clack. Tell him to ask him if 3 o'clock will be okay. Yes, Mr. Greenspan. Yes, Mr. Greenspan. Go. doing in here? Murderer, Nazi! You were hey, together! You killed Benny! Hey, stop! Who are you? What are you doing in this apartment? I didn't kill Mr. Bossbaum, and I don't know any Geller. I'm with ISI. I've been assigned to protect a wealthy businessman named Richard Gartner. Somebody tried to kill him with a bomb. That's why I found you, and that's why I'm here. Not Richard Gartner. Eckhart Geller. Who's Geller? Geller was in Hungary in 1944. He was the German military commander of a district which included the Jewish village of Zasfar. Our village. Geller said if we gave him all our valuables, no one in the village would go to the death camp. He took everything we had. Then he wanted more. Then he was with the underground. He smuggled Morris and me to Budapest to get more money. But when we got back to Zasfar, there was... No more village. Nothing. Geller had leveled it. No one survived except us. What makes you think that Gartner is Geller? We saw his face on television. After all these years, how can you be so sure? You don't forget the face of a man who killed your wife and children. In Sasba, we sat across the table from him. We tried to buy our lives. This far away. He didn't even hate us. He just saw a chance to make money. Do you understand that? That's how he became rich. With blood money. I got the last of those files. Yes. Oh my God. You don't know what I've gone through to get these. It's just... What's wrong? According to Gardner, he was a captain in the German army serving with the ambulance brigade in Poland. So? According to our records, there was no Richard Gardner in that brigade. Uh-huh. So why did he say he was there? I don't know. Wait a second. Do you actually think he is Geller? Well, according to those, Geller was killed in action in Budapest in 1945. There you are. 
You'll be happy to know that Major Clack just happened to have 3 o'clock open. Well, I'll change it to 4, Melville. I'll be back by then. And you're sure Bassbaum planted the bomb, Mr. Adderley? Yeah. Well, what does he have to say for himself? Not much. He's dead. I see. Do you want to know why he did it? Does it matter? It seems that Mr. Bossbaum and his friends are convinced that your real name is Eckhard Geller. And you send all the people from their village in Hungary to the death camps. I was serving with an ambulance brigade in Poland during the war. Well, with all due respect, there was no Richard Gartner serving with the ambulance brigade. You're quite right, Mr. Adderley. But I did serve in Poland. Where? My job was to stand in the railroad station in Warsaw with a clipboard, counting cattle cars. Cattle cars filled with people. Jews? I didn't bring them there. I didn't slam the doors shut. I just counted the cars as they left the station. But I knew where they were going, and I did nothing to help. I wonder why these people are so certain that you're Geller. They claim to have sat across a table from you and bartered for their lives. It wasn't me. These survivors see the killers everywhere because they are haunted. Haunted because they lived and all the others died. But I am also haunted. Haunted by faces staring at me through the slats of the cattle cars. Is that the truth? That is the truth. You knew he was in Poland? Yes, counting boxcars. Full of people going to Auschwitz. Auschwitz? That's right. And since then, he's done his damnedest to make amends. There's nothing to be gained by making this public now. Nothing. What about those old men? They say he's Geller. Geller died in Budapest. You read the file. You have nothing, Adderley. Just the failing memories of three old men. There's only two now, Major. And they were both there, living witnesses. Your assignment is to protect Richard Gardner at a banquet next week. That is all. Uh, Major, uh, there was one other thing. Oh, yes. And make yourself available to Mr. Greenspan tomorrow. Yes, sir. And this is Gardner? Gela, in Sasvar. Is there any way of proving that this was taken in Sasvar? What's this? Oh, that's part of the bridge. What bridge? There was a bridge coming into the village. It connected the town with the railway tracks. Who else has seen this picture? Geller. Then he gave him a copy just before the press conference. So he'd be reminded. Maybe it's something he never forgot. This photograph could have been taken anywhere. It just won't stand up in the courtroom. Well, does this help? That's Saul Morris and Benny before the war. They used to go to the river to fish every Sunday, and it's the same brickwork in the background as the other photo. You need more than that. Gardner had a painting that he did in his office. I think it might be the bridge. Might be. If I can prove... Utterly forget it. Go back to guarding the man. Make sure he gets through the banquet. That's your assignment. That's all. I do have another assignment, Major. Golfing. With Greenspan. <laughs> Please, come on. I can't do this. I just think, I really think it's mean. It's not mean, it's Mona. Me. He'll get to Scotland. He's just taking a little detour. What? What? To Budapest? <laughs> Ta-da! Oh. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> nice knees. Mr. Greenspan, where'd you get that kilt? Debbie got it for me. It's the Greenspan tartan. 
The Greenspan Tartan? Yeah, she also got the coat of arms and everything. Our family crest is a crushed boar. I think that's crushing boar. Come on, Melville. We better hurry. You know what the traffic at the airport's like at this time of day? Oh, the tickets. Oh, don't worry about a thing, because Mona is going to phone cheerful Charlie and have everything arranged. We're being pre-boarded. All we have to do is strap ourselves in and enjoy the flight. Really? Really? Yeah, really. Really. Come on, Melville. The pipes are calling. OK, bye, Mona. Hey, Scotland, here we come. Give us a couple of drinks on a Saturday. Glasgow belongs to me. Charlie Agent. Real sorry, Melville. He doesn't know how this could have happened. How are we going to get out of here? There's a flight from Budapest to Edinburgh this afternoon. All I can is kill. No, don't worry, Melville. You'll be flying with the Scottish rugby team. You'll be among fellow clansmen. Well, what are we going to do until then? Ah, I have found a golf course. So while I go and try and straighten all this out, you're going to get in a quick 18 hole. Really? <laughs> Are you sure that's the green? No, no. It looks the same as the fairway. That's <laughs> it. Never mind. Bezeltek Angalu? I speak little English. I'm looking for a little village called Sasvar. Sasvar? This is Lepojne. You've never heard of Sasvar? Sasvar? Uh, um, my boyfriend say once was Sasvar, but no more. People and the village has gone since war. But it was near here. Me and Misfar? Yes. His grandfather told him. Well, that's something. What about a bridge? A stone bridge? Ah, oh, bridge. Yeah, come. Ah. Let me see here. What, uh, what do you figure, five iron? Da, what does that make you, 10 iron? Uh, you're good at that. Is bridge? Is bridge all right? Thank you. It's not quite as lyrical as I remember in the painting, but but maybe that's what's wrong with it. Neither do I. We always let Benny do this. We always let Benny do everything. Benny's not here now. Well, let's try again. Just like it was 40 years ago. 
You notice anything, Mona? Yeah, they're all photos of the same bridge. And it proves Gertner was in Sassbar. But it doesn't prove that he destroyed the village, or it doesn't prove that he's Geller. A painting does. How? That's what I'm going to go talk to him about right now. You get these up to Clack. Oh, Mr. Greenspan's up. Mr. Greenspan. Mr. Green, was he upset about Budapest? No, oh, are you kidding? He shot an 11 under par. He was so happy, he didn't even mind playing his round at St. Andrews in the dark. <laughs> Miss Lady Seferis. Oh, yes, he is. Uh, hold on one moment, please. Miriam Gitterman. Hello. When? OK, don't do anything. Just stay put. Mona, get those up to Clack right away and then get over to Miriam's house. Her grandfather and Morris have disappeared. OK, where are you going? Geller's. OK. It's a 25-year-old single malt. The man at the rare scotch door said to get the full flavor of it, you let a drop vaporize in the palm of your hand. Or as they say in the old country, it makes it go down with its hands very close to its sides. <laughs> if you think this is going to make up for beating me in the tournament, Greenspan... Absolutely no. Come in. Oh, Mono, would you like a wee dime of the rares? No, thank you. Uh Oh, um, congratulations on your 11 under par, Mr. Greenspan. Sir, these are from Adderley. They are photographs that he brought back from Hungary. Hungary? Yes, there was a little mix-up in the tickets, Major, on the way over. Just let me see those. Yes. Where's Adderley now? He's at Mr. Gartner's. Uh, Gitterman and Soproni have disappeared. Thank you, Mona. That'll be all. Oh, but... Uh... Thank you, Greenspan. Out. Now. Give me my car. It's hard. You look different, and yet the same. Yes, it's true. People don't change. They just get older. That's right. You were a murderer then, and you were a murderer now. It didn't start with me, and it won't end with me. You and I and Sasvar, <coughs> we were just a sideshow. One I should have closed long ago. Are you going to kill us? Like you did Benny? No. It was him. I had to rush things. With you, I can take my time. You are still a butcher. What now? Adderley's here. I'll be there in a minute. This time, I can't let you escape, can I? Mr. Adderley. Mr. Gardner. You always seem fascinated by my work. It would be my pleasure to give you one, if you wish. Well, there is one I'd like. This one. It's got a nice personal quality. It was just an old bridge going from nothing to nowhere. That's true. Now. But when you painted it, it went from a little village called Sasvar to a railroad siding that led to Auschwitz. You know that. Tired of this, Mr. Adderley. I've already told you the truth. I was in Poland. No, you weren't. Captain Geller. I found the bridge. Exactly like you painted it. Of course, the ruins aren't there, but I guess that was just romantic excess. Where are Gitterman and Soproni? Are they still alive? You're forgetting one thing, Mr. Adderley. This is the house of Richard Gartner, and you are here to protect me. I wasn't assigned to protect a murderer. I'm not a murderer. I'm vital to the well-being of this country. Think of all the things I have done with that money. Think what those people could have done with their lives. That 
proves nothing. It proves you were in Sassvar. You repainted over the village. But you forgot to repaint the reflection in the water. This solution will remove the top layer of paint. And I bet you I'll find the village exactly as it was before you destroyed it. Can I take that as a confession? I regret this, Mr. Natalie, but it was your choice. If it was my choice, I'd be holding the gun. I wouldn't ruin a piece of art. It's only water. There's nowhere to run, Captain Geller. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Frankly, I'd given up hope. Benny never gave up hope. Benny should be here. He's here. Is watching. Don't you think so, Mr. Adderley? I'm sure he is. <laughs>